In this lecture, we will solve one statement problem. You can see the statement on your screen and uh, we have to find out the function y depending upon this statement. So let's read the statement first. Consider a logic circuit with three inputs A, B and C. A, B and C are the three inputs. Output is y and it is high for the following conditions. There are four conditions depending upon them. Output y is high. The first condition says B and C are true. B and C are true. When B is high and C is high, the output y is going to be high. The second condition says A and C are false. They are false. So we have to take A complement and C complement because they are false. According to third condition, A, B and C are true. So we have to take A and B and C. Fourth condition is A, B and C are false. So we have to take A complement and B complement and C complement. Now we have four conditions and all these conditions will make output y equals to 1. And now to get the output y, we have to or them. y equals to B and C or A complement and C complement or A and B and C or A complement and B complement and C complement. We have to OR them because the output Y is 1 if we satisfy any of these conditions. But this is not minimized. We have to minimize this by using the Boolean algebra. I will take BC common. So BC from here I'm having 1 and from here I have A I will take A complement C complement common from the second and the fourth term so A complement and C complement from here I'm left with 1 and from here I'm left with B complement now it's very simple A or 1 is equal to 1 B C and 1 1 or B complement is again equal to 1 B C and 1 is definitely B C A complement C complement and 1 is A complement C complement so this is the minimized function Y you can also find the function Y by using the truth table in the next presentation we are going to use the truth table to find out the function Y Let's take another problem. This problem is for you. You have to solve this and post your answer in the comment section. You have to find out the function y for the given condition. The first condition is a and b are true. The second condition is a is true b is false and c is true the third condition is a is true b is false and c is false you have to find out the function y depending upon these three conditions and once you have your answer post it in the comment section